because we've uh, drawn each uh, works package on its separate uh, uh, Revit file, we, are, we have the possibility of inserting all the packages together by going into Insert and Insert Revit and then choosing uh, the different files and inserting them. And uh, well, I made a mistake there because one of the first things you need to do really is to to make sure that you insert them in the right way. So I'm going to go into Link Revit, choose Origin to Origin, and then choose the file, and then insert it. And uh, here you can see now that the the file uh, for the brickwork uh, works package and for the hosted elements like Windows and so so on are inserted into another file which is the uh, the actual superstructure of the building. Now, it's possible to, to uh, blend these together, these two files together, by going into uh, Modify Revit Links and Bind Elements. And I'm going to attach all the details here and uh, click OK to this, and you can see something's happening here. And um, when, I, uh, when this is over, then uh, we should be able to pick each individual element um, out, uh, for example, columns, brickwork, and everything from uh, one common file. So I'm going to remove the links now between the two files, and you can now see that this uh, outer wall here uh, I'm choosing now uh, is, is, um, is on its own. Uh, it consists of this brickwork. Uh, and if I click the, the column, um, I'm just going to click ungroup here just to be on the safe side here. Um, and if I choose column, you can see the column is chosen uh, on its own. So we, in, in a way we can say that these two uh, files are now merged uh, together as one file. So each item I choose here is now individual um, uh, and is not part of a package of uh, subcontracts or subworks, as it were. So, in, in actual fact, what I can do now is uh, I can go into Sigma Estimates and go into Settings, like this. And uh, when I go into Settings, uh, I can uh, go in and I can uh, give this a new name now because this is going to be the the whole building. So I'm, I'm just going to call this uh, Total Building. And I'm just going to go in and uh, under Exported Elements, I'm going to see if everything has been chosen, everything that I've type coded has been chosen. Uh, so now I can see the uh, the original windows and so on, but I also have the columns here. And I, and I have to make sure that they are chosen again sometimes, because uh, it doesn't always uh, happen that everything that has been type coded has been ticked off. We need to tick them off if we, if we want to get them across into our calculation. For example, the HEB elements here are not ticked off. And I believe also uh, they were per piece. So maybe I should find PCS there and uh, PCS there. And uh, so on and so forth uh, until I've ticked off all the elements in the two combined files or three combined files depending on how many files you're going to combine together into this one um, drawing. I can see there are some uh, floors missing here, uh, um, uh, the 300 millimeter floors are missing and these uh, um, terrain slab is missing too, so I, I need to type code that. So I go up into my setup here again, find the, the library I'm, uh, I'm, I'm working with and go into value and then I should find the terrain slab here and click OK to that and choose that and uh, also this uh, suspended uh, floor needs to be type coded too so I, I'll, I'll do that one too setup is, is OK, I've already chosen that once so um, floor slab here click OK to that and that is chosen too and I think I've, I've, I think I've chosen everything uh, Actually, I haven't type coded the HP, uh, this one here either. So just go in and find the, the uh, steel girder. And that is in pieces too. So 
I think everything is now in place and click OK to that and then I can send this over to to Sigma in the usual way. Of course, now that I have combined these files, I must remember to save this as the whole building. So I would go into project uh, in here in and and save as project and give it a name and so on for the total building. I'm now in Sigma. I need to open that uh, the file I just sent over. So I'll uh, just find it and. I will open uh, the total building project here, and uh, in this way you can you can see that the the project is now a combination of everything. Uh, we have both the walls, the windows, the structural foundations, the floors, the columns, uh, much more than we had previously on the separate files. And uh, again, these are not. Uh, they are just measured up in the quantity from the model, but uh, the price has not come in. So again, it's a question of going in to uh, libraries and updating from the library uh, we used uh, as a basis for type coding. So we find the library there, and we update it from that library to get the prices. And the procedure would be the same again, now that we've got the prices, the procedure is the same again for finding um, uh, or for making the schedule. It's just a question of going into data and export and um, export this in a certain number of levels. The more detailed here, the, the, the more bars you'll have to connect. Uh, next, wages go over. Next, seven and a half hours with the price and export. And this is my uh, my uh, MS project uh, bars with the with the work work the man hours. So these are man hours, and they're not actual team hours. I need to resource this in the same way. I put in an extra column in here called um, costs. In my case, it's up Kostninger, and you can see this is the total price of, of the project uh, again, uh, based on uh, based on. Uh, if I just go in here and click the, the title. This is the total price of the project, the total man hours. I'll resource them and link them in the usual way.